I've made a few of these buckles in the past and I've actually even made a couple of videos on how I did it before uh, so if you want to see how I made the whole full pattern with no steps left out you can go watch that uh, here's some stills from that video you can see I used a hollow sprue and uh, and that I was casting the belt loop as a solid piece of metal um, at the time and most of these other ones but uh, this time I you'll see I actually cut the loop out of the foam itself which left less gating for the metal to get into the part through but it actually worked out pretty well in the end so uh, yeah I didn't get any video of a lot of this part of the process so sorry about that and these are the patterns for the ones here that I'm showing now first bu bell buckle it definitely messed up it floated the sand second one I got hopes well I hope at least one bell buckle turns out okay because one of those was for me and one was for I can live without mine. All right, well, it has been a couple hours. Yeah. Uh, went inside to let these cool down for a while. Caught the tail end of uh, Zappin's uh, live bronze pour video. It was kind of fun, but I missed the, missed the best part. Although I did get to go back and see what happened. Uh, this is the one that floated the sand. I don't expect to see anything good in here. Except the deformed lost foam casting. What is it doing in there? Oh. It's funky looking. Can you see that? Looks like there was a skull in there at some point. And uh, it's just a big blob of. 
crusty looking bronze. Getting this ugly. Pain to get apart. Okay, now, now we're talking. Look at that. Cast it with the slot in place. That one's going to be a good one. All right. Yeah. Well. Got it all brushed off. This looks like it's going to be a good one. The other one, pretty hideous. This doesn't actually look as bad as I thought it would when I when I saw the sand float. I got the loop came out quite nice. The hook is here. Unfortunately, there's a you know solid inch and a half of bronze between that and the other side of the casting. The weirdest part is, okay, look where the look where the loop is here, and look where it is here. It didn't float on this side; it floated on this side. Such a bizarre type of casting defect. It comes from. Uh, it happened here because I wasn't. Uh, I wasn't ready for how much denser this bronze is than the aluminum I'm used to casting these buckles in. But I. Uh, sand flow can happen with lost from casting anytime because you're using loose, unbonded sand that um, you're only relying on how well you vibrated and the the weight of the sand itself to actually keep the bucket from just keeping on filling up with metal when you're pouring it down the sprue. Um, bronze is a lot more weight behind it so it's that much easier to push the sand up with it. Uh, so that's a that's a sand float defect. You saw it happen here. I've seen this sort of thing happen before with lost foam castings. We're sifting through the ground, picking up little bronze BBs here, like it's a crack house, and somebody just sneezed. What? Coming over here. My dad, he's he's pulling this out now. Sorry, it's a bit wobbly. I got mosquito bites. Okay, looks good. Please tell me what it is. What do you think it is? Skull! Well, what does it look like? I said a skull! Yeah, skull what? Belt buckle. Yeah. For me. Not for you. Aww. You already have one. Looks like it came out good. Yeah. Do I stop now? Hold on. Keep, that. Keep going. I'm dump these out. Oh, come on, more BBs for me to pick up? At least this guy came out. Look 
pretty well hollowed out. Looks good. 